So in fact, it's actually quite easy to elicit false memories in the laboratory. This is often done with word lists. So people are presented a list of words that they have to recall later on. And often they remember words that were not on the original list, but were associated similar to words that were on the list. So in fact, they've created a false memory, a memory of a word that wasn't there. So then the question is, why is this important? Who should care? So one reason it's so important to demonstrate the ease of creating false memories in the laboratory is that it has real-world ramifications, especially in court cases. Occasionally, false memories lead to false accusations. In one case, a woman who was raped accused a psychologist by the name of Donald Thompson of the rape. As it turns out, she had been watching TV right before her attack. And on TV, she was watching Donald Thompson, who in fact was talking about, of all things, uh, false memories. Now in her mind, the association between the attack and Donald Thompson's face was made. So she made this accusation. Now, as it turns out, Donald Thompson, of course, had a great alibi. He could prove beyond a shadow of the doubt that he was on TV at the time and was not there uh, in committing a crime. Unfortunately, not everyone who uh, is falsely accused has such an alibi. Occasionally, false memories lead to false accusations and convictions. 